Hello, welcome back. Uh, last time I did the railings on the porch. Well, what I want to do now is just sort of finish the porch. Uh, this one here I won't be explaining with words. Uh, you'll just, this time you'll just watch. Because apparently when I talk, I really can't work very well. As, so what you'll do is you watch this cursor here. You see it moving in a circle here. And also you see, watch, you see you'll watch where the lengths are. And you'll just also watch um, what I move and what I click on over here. And you'll just see how I sort of work alone in SketchUp. Alright. I, hopefully I can get this done. Good thing YouTube actually now allows me to go over 20 minutes. So No, I mean, yeah, over 15 minutes, the limit before. So um, if I run aground a little bit, it'll be fine. Alright. Better get to work. I want to finish this porch. Alright. I'll talk a little bit, but not much. Definitely not as much as last time. Because this one, this year, this is only a demonstration video. Not a tutorial video. But there will be tutorials on this house. Using this house. Um, there will be tutorials, but just not tonight. As you can see, look, that's done now. The bottom part. Uh, let's see. We'll make the step. We'll work on these stairs. Steps. But like I said in the last video, I'm doing it my way, and not everyone will agree. But with their with their own ways. But I mean, hey, what can I say? So yeah. And I mean, this vi these videos will also should be good for those who haven't used SketchUp or are just starting out and want to see the gist of it. But I mean, like I said, other um, other users will um, be watching videos regardless whether they know how or not. As you can see, I'm double clicking because it will you be used to recreate the last move you made. The same here. I want to clean up all construction lines. Whenever you uh, extrude something, it creates a construction line, and what you saw, I just erased it. So now it has not. The stairs aren't bad. Now I kind I know that the stairs look kind of funny, so. Just kind of do this. Uh, how much? Maybe four. Under. See that pink line there? It's a parallel line. And it also works perpendicular as well. Now, I've actually been doing this for a few years, so I'm very comfortable with doing it the um, way I choose. That's too much. Mm, maybe, yeah. And, you know, I guess I'll bring this out a little more, too. Man, these... It's been a while. It's, it took me a while, a long time, to actually use the program to find these clever shortcuts and you know kind of give it that finished look yeah it's fine now alright now let's build those banisters and the rest of this railing so I'll just do that right now and again right now I'm just making construction lines and I'm making an ac the actual rectangle Yep. I usually do mine on the first step. Some people do it on the ground, or others don't even do railings at all. Which is fine, but I mean... Like I pr mentioned in previous video, just sort of gives it that complete feeling. I mean, yeah, everything looks seems to look best with that look of completion. 
Now, just kind of watch how I move things, how I make my moves. Um, I, what you see here is this construction line here. That was just to make it so this is the same as this here. Or I could just make any old clump of something and... Yeah, and just um, use the push-pull pull tool to um, to make it like maybe two foot seven. Yeah, that looks good. Mm, let's see how far out we need to go. Dang, man. Sorry. So that's a post for you. You know, I think I might make it five inches. Do 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 do. Sorry. Do 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 do. do. Mm. And here is other things I can I do usually is just I sort of kind of guess at it and then I resize it later, like so. Pretty much just fooling right now with the sizes. This is another thing what I do sometimes when I'm. When I feel like, you know, okay, I think I could hurry, should hurry it up. See? There. I hover over the surface I want to be flush with. That's what you see there. Alrighty. So that's the railing there, and then now, like the uh, like what I do here, is I make it full, intersect with model, race that there, race is here. will be seeing and probably what you're hearing in the background that's just my keyboard and then you also hear my mouse wheel it's pretty loud so but um, that will just let you that'll just give you that inside feeling of how SketchUp feels because you'll be using the I'm using the mouse wheel a lot and I also use the keyboard keyboard's crucial so if you're to build I wouldn't like um, I wouldn't recommend using this on your iPad or phone or anything because I know a lot of you have like internet and have those kinds of gizmos and gadgets but SketchUp works best I mean it still would work if you can anytime you have internet you can always download it but um, the th problem is um, if you don't have a mouse you're gonna be in you're gonna have a hard time with it. I mean, because um, you, he, what you're gonna hear a lot are is the mouse wheel rolling, and that's how I zoom in out, and that's how I pan. So just want to keep that in mind. Make sure you have a computer with a mouse. So even a standard laptop, you know, uh, make sure you have a mouse for it. And that's what I have right now, is I have a mouse on my laptop, so. So, yeah. Okay, now that the porch railings are done, I'm going to do the banisters on these stairs, and then uh, that'll conclude this actual porch. And then um, tomorrow I'll go ahead and do some of the windows and stuff. So, yeah. Alright, let's 
I'm going to see how I do the stairs again. It's been a while since I actually did, um... Alright, so... No, never mind, this will just be cut off later. So, what I'll do is, um... Make the ball stirs again. Yeah, you'll just watch how I do it. And again, what I said is, you don't have to do it this way. If you find a better way, good. And another thing is, um, because I'm not actually really, sh I'm not really actually, um, legitimately getting into exactly how to do it and where your orientations are and stuff. If you actually have any questions about anything, comments and stuff, um, put a comment in the box below and I will be glad to get back with you. And yeah, usually I'm able to go out um, within hours of my, um, of my posting. So that will that should work out good. Well, ever call it. Sorry. No, I went out too far. And you know what happened. Okay, that's good. But I encourage you because this is a very fun this is fun software. And I mean, right, I'm making a house, but and I make houses on this software, but don't feel like you're confined to making houses because so many other people that I know um of have built cars, trees, um people, and basically anything. I mean, even furniture, dogs and cats. Um, not like I can do that. I mean, I cannot do that to save my life. But people have been... There are really talented people out there, and I want to acknowledge that. And actually if it was for the talented people that actually got me into the SketchUp program to begin with a lot of inspiration yeah so it really looks more like uh, stairs yeah uh, where you would find a lot of the a lot of this talent is um, going to the Google 3D warehouse and I have a lot of my stuff up there too, if you're in case you're interested. Google 3D Warehouse. Which I will assume you'll find quite fascinating. I don't really like how that turned out. So I'll just work on it. Yeah, some but also but when working on stuff, sometimes it is trial and error, which which you see here. And okay, now still to me it looks a little thin, so I'm gonna bring that up. No, actually, I think it's fine. I think it's fine the way it is. Usually, I make the bottom rail um, narrower than the upper rail. But here, I guess, you know, they could both be the same. Like I said, you know, I mean, this takes a, um, even, no matter how good you are at SketchUp, or even any computer-aided drafting program, 
a lot of this stuff, um, especially if you're going, if you're a designer, you're going to be seeing a lot of trial and error. I mean, think about it. When you look at floor plans um, that are drawn up, um, don't just think that they're that they have been like that originally. Think about all the work that actually went into um, moving things around and. Usually, actually, I mean, usually, what you see in this finished product is nothing, can sometimes nothing be like the um, original. Yeah, it, it's, it can be that drastic. As you can see, I'm going to make a copy of this and move it over here, so I don't have to waste time over, I don't have to waste time making it Okay. Oh yeah. It's amazing. But usually the work that actually has been revised over and over and over again that's always that's almost always going to be the best work you see, give or take. I mean, no other way around it. Legitimately, the best way. And like again, you know, you have to. Um, erase. I mean, you don't have to, but it just, it, the less stray lines you have, the less space the model takes up, and the less space the model takes up, the more ability you'll be able to have in um, uploading it to the warehouse, and your computer won't be dreadfully slow. I mean, depends on the complexities of these models, um, the computer can be slow very terribly slow. Now what we see here is a completed porch. Just as I promised. And this actually right here, that looks like a completed home view. Looks nice, doesn't it? Not too bad. But then now in the next video I'll actually we'll do some windows um, which is aka you know like some components and I'll show you show you some of that and put the windows in this wall here so yeah I hope you enjoyed it please and thank you for watching if you like this video please comment rate comment subscribe really much appreciate it there will be a lot more to come Especially because you know this obviously is not done yet, and I will keep videoing until the house is done. But yeah, but it will show you um, how I work on a house. Because I want this side here to look like this side. And I also want the insides done. And um, that will all be. And I'll even do a walkthrough like I did on my other houses that I uploaded. Which you might like that a lot. Alright, thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.